So something they should start with is to learn English apparently, to learn English very well. I would strongly recommend to improve their language skills until the level of until they reach the level of upper intermediate because this is um, how they will be how they can become successful students. So I would strongly recommend to focus on studying foreign languages, to study English, and to reach at least the level of upper intermediate. Now it's time to prove that your language proficiency. Now the student has to go and take one of the two international tests. It's either IELTS or a TOEFL test. If you ask me which one is easier to take, I would say that probably for the students who study um, English in former Soviet countries, to my mind, that's going to be easier to take IELTS test. Just because the, um, I would say that the students' book are based on more British system of education. But if you want to go study overseas, um, I would strongly recommend to get prepared for TOEFL test because TOEFL test is the test that is, um, you know, it is based on, on the manner of studying, on the manner of teaching in the US. It is important to take these tests because this is your official internationally recognized proof of your language proficiency that you can use both for um, for studies and for work. What you should keep in mind is that all both these tests re uh, expire in two years for study purposes so make sure you do that in time. So when the student um, is ready with the tests it's high time to be working on a, a bunch of other documents such as there should be an application form that the students must complete, which is formal description of HEMAs, um, which is a formal form from the university and that describes the student as um, student's academic success. The student should uh, prepare the transcript of his, his or her grades. The student should have this TOEFL or IELTS certificate that I was talking about. The student um, should um, also start working on his so-called student profile. What is a student profile? Student profile, this is something that you don't have here, but this is a very important part of application for US University. Student profile is a description of you as a person, of you as the activist. Student profile inc includes three elements. Element number one is your statement of purpose. Statement of purpose is, is so-called motivation letter. This is the letter where you describe why you want to go to this university, what is your career plan, what is your life plan in general. You don't have to be extremely specific, but generally it is good to understand that you have certain goal and why this university is the step on, on your way to this goal. Uh, you should also describe why you are the best person, why you are the best candidate for this, um, for studying at this university. Another. Um, part of uh, student profile is the references. So references is a um, so-called recommendation letter that is given by your teachers or by the people who know you well. Apparently this shouldn't be your parents. Um, the references describe you as a, as a person and your performance um, in certain situations and that is very useful if the person who is giving you reference uses certain uses specific examples of your activity. And the third part of the student profile is your social responsibility. It is extremely important for American society that you are a socially active and socially responsible person, which means that it is highly appreciated if you do some charity, if you participate in um, extracurricular activities, because this shows that you are not only, you know, you're not a nerd, but it also it describes that you are the active and motivated and um, you know great personality with strong leadership skills. To help international students to get to highly ranked universities in the US, we created a program that is called On Campus Plus. So the whole idea of this program is to make um, is, to, is to give the international students equal opportunities that local students have. 
The program is called On Campus Plus. It's called On Campus Plus because it allows to make the story short, the system, the, the, this program allows you to get to the first year of university right from scratch. If you have a level of English that is approximately 12 or 60 plus, 61, up to 61, you can go straight to um, the first year of studies. The, the idea of this program is that you go to the first year of studies, so you enter the American system of education uh, right after you graduated from school, and then you go to the first year of studies at the university. So you don't do any preparatory programs. So no academic preparation, you go straight to the university and you get your I-20 from the university. And there you study with other American students. So the student gets acquainted with um, credits, how to register for the course, and how to submit uh, your papers and homeworks, all in all in all. So this is quite a challenging experience for a student. That's why during the first year of studies, the student studies in one of our partner universities. So now we have five universities around the US. So this is Rider University in New Jersey, this is Canisius in New York State, we also have Pine Manor in Boston, and we also have Concordia College in New York, and one more university in Los Angeles that's called Marymount University. Once the student enters this university, they start their, you know, pathway. So they take all the classes, but they also work with the university counselor. So that's what the student does during the first year. It's like um, studying at the university with a tutor. So you basically get your personal tutor from King's. And after you've, graduated, after you've done your first year at the university, you can transfer to any university in the US. The, the concept was of this program was that it doesn't matter where you start your course, where you start your education, where, what university you study in the very beginning. In the end, it matters where you graduate from, right? Because in the end, you get the diploma and that's what you show to your employer. Oh, well, nothing to worry about. If your level of English is not high enough, that's no problem. Depending on what TOEFL grade you've received, uh, we can offer you some academic preparation program. So this would be on-campus preparation program, which means that depending on your level of English, you will go for one, two or three terms, additional terms of studying on campus of the university that you're choosing doing focusing on English for academic study, improving your language skills. The good thing is that even if your level of English is not good enough and you can only start your additional language course in summer, that's okay because in the US we have two intakes, that is September and January intake. So you can start your language course in September, do it for one term and start your um, university studies already in January. So the university counselor helps the student to, <clears throat> to understand the system of credits, to register for the course, to choose the courses that the student needs to take during this first year of studies. Uh, another very important part of university counselor's job is also to help students to find and to choose the university where the student will transfer. There are more than 6,000 universities around the US. How do you choose the right school for you? So University Council is the professional who knows and who helps you to choose the university, to, you know, to apply to the university, to maximize your chances to get to your dream school. <laughs>